Hey guys, so today we're going to continue talking about properties of matter and we're going to talk about the physical properties of density and buoyancy. Now your directions for making notes are to make a set of Cornell notes on a sheet of notebook paper. You only have to take the notes that appear red. Remember that you can take any other notes if you need to and you can pause or rewind the video as needed. Your I can statements for today are I can calculate the density of different objects or substances using the mass and volume of the object or substance. I understand how density and buoyancy relate to one another. I can predict whether an object will sink or float based on its density. And I can state Archimedes' principle. First of all, let's talk about what density is. It is a physical property. Remember, that means that we can measure it and without changing what the substance is made of. And density is just the amount of matter that's packed into a given space. So the more matter an object has in a certain space, the more dense that object is considered to be. So I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video right here and look at the two squares below and decide which one you think is more dense, and we will answer that question in class. All right, the formula for density. You guys need to memorize this, because I will expect you to know it for your tests, and they will also expect you to know it for the ILEAP. The formula for calculating density is mass divided by volume. And I know this isn't in red, but I do want you guys to write this down, and we're gonna talk about how to use this triangle in class next time. When you're calculating density, don't forget to include your units, which are grams per centimeter cubed or grams per milliliter. Your steps for calculating density. First, you need to find the mass of the object. Remember that we use either a scale or a triple beam balance for that. Then you're going to find the volume of the object. And if you don't remember how to do that, you need to go back and watch the last video. We talked about three ways to calculate the volume of an object. After you've found the mass and the volume, you need to divide your mass by your volume, and that will give you the density of the object. So here are two practice questions. I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video and write down the answers on your notes, and we will go over those answers in class. All right, now let's talk about buoyancy, which is another physical property, and it's related to density. Buoyancy simply means the ability to float, and if you've ever seen buoys out in the water, they're the things that float around, it's, it has the same word in it, so buoyancy. Now the way that buoyancy relates to density is an object with a higher density uh, than the fluid that you place it in is going to tend to sink in that fluid. An object with a lower density than the fluid that you place it in is going to tend to float in that fluid. So I want you guys to go ahead and practice again, pause the video, and then look at the following densities and determine whether you think these objects are more likely to sink in water or whether they're more likely to float in water. When you place an object in a fluid, the fluid pushes back with a buoyant force. Now a lot of you or most of you have been in water before and you've felt that buoyant force. It's the reason that you feel lighter when you swim. Last thing we're going to talk about is Archimedes' principle, which is also called the law of buoyancy. And Archimedes' principle simply says that any object that is completely or partially submerged in a fluid is acted upon by that upward buoyant force. And what you'll find when you place that object in the water is that that force is equal to the weight of the fluid that is displaced by the object. All right, so next, um, uh, there's a really good video that I found on YouTube that shows Archimedes' principle, so we're going to watch that. What I'm gonna do. What I hope to do <laughs> is I'm going to dunk this in the water. And when I do that, this weight reading will go down, yeah? I mean, I can kind of show you over here. The weight reading does go down. Would you say this, that that loss of weight was equal to the support force? And that support force we have a name for because of BF. Buoyant force, okay? So the buoyant force can be seen by the loss of weight. Can't read that now, but read it now. Read it now, subtract the two, there's a buoyant force, yeah? Alright. I'm going to do it over here in this overflow can. But I'm going to catch the water 
That's this way. And I'm going to weigh it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this is not going to be perfectly accurate, okay? But note now what the reading is of just holding, it looks like a little bit more than one Newton, holding up the empty cup. And if I dunk this in, this is losing weight, yeah? It's because the, I'm, I'm, bringing, I'm, I'm displacing more and more water. There, now this is lost all the way it can lose. This is still catching water. I want you to compare how much weight did this lose, the suspended weight, and how much weight did this gain? Do you see that they're the <coughs> same? And that brings us to a very important rule with fluids, and that's this, that the buoyant force that acts on the submerged object is numerically equal to the weight of fluid displaced by the object. Okay? I didn't say the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the object over here. No. It's the buoyant force is equal to the weight of fluid, in this case, water, displaced by the object. Okay? We see that? That's called Archimedes' principle. All right, guys, so that was just a neat demonstration of Archimedes' principle. And let's go over our I can statements again before we go. You should now be able to calculate the density of different objects or substances using the mass or volume of that object or substance. You should now understand how density and buoyancy relate to one another. You should be able to predict whether an object will sink or float based on its density. And you should be able to tell me a little bit about Archimedes' principle. And that's all, guys. I'll see you in class next time.